What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, it looks like um, undefeated champion Danny Garcia has recently done an interview, and I want to read some quotes from the article. They asked him about Amir Khan and his thoughts of Amir Khan with his new trainer, Virgil Hunter, also the trainer of Andre Ward, Kareem, hard hitter Mayfield, and others. And he basically said what I said in a previous video. I'm going to put in the video responses, and I honestly think it's true. Um, I'm going to read some excerpts from the podcast, and this is what Danny Garcia had to say regarding Amir Khan. It's a fight that he's expected to win. You know Diaz's better days were at 135. He's a little older now. I think Khan's speed should get him through the fight, and he should win. And then they asked if Khan had improved. He said, you're really not going to tell until he fights the top fighters. When you fight someone who cannot keep up with you, you're going to look like a star. If every time you step out there, you are fighting someone who cannot test your will and make you think you're going to look good, you're really not going to tell until you fight another top fighter again. That's what Danny Garcia said. He also went on to say, I beat him once and I could beat him again. This is the boxing world. I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to see that fight more than any other fight. So if I have to fight Khan again and my manager thinks it's a good move, and it's perfect, then we're going to do it. I duck nobody, never turn down opponent, and if that's the guy who they want me to fight, that's who I'll fight. He really closed by saying, at the time, they said Amir Khan was the best in the division, so I beat the number one guy to prove that I was the number one. I never fought for the vacant title. That's the difference between me and a lot of other champions. I beat Morales, and he was the champion. And I beat Khan, and he was the champion. So I beat two champions to become the number one champion. Do I feel I proved myself? Yes. Do I feel... I have more to prove yes so he says by beating the two champions at the time of Khan and Eric Morales he feels he's in the number one spot arguably it's in my book it's either him or Lucas Matisse and it's hard to give it to Lucas for the number one spot not that he can't beat Danny Garcia because I think that would be a hell of a fight um, Lucas Matisse and Danny Garcia but Lucas Matisse has pretty much been avoided. Um, a lot of the managers and promoters haven't pitted him against some of the top guys at 140. It looks like we're going to see how he does against Lamont Peterson. And just to touch on that fight, Lamont Peterson versus Lucas Matisse is a hell of a fight. Some of you guys are power crazy, where the only thing you you base your opinions on in the boxing world is power. Lamont Peterson versus Lucas Matisse Matisse has more power easy that's it easy but the one thing that a lot of people are not giving Lamont Peterson for is his durability and his tenacity even if he gets knocked down this man gets up and keeps fighting he definitely has the will to win and that will be the test for Lamont Peterson to see if he can endure the the pressure and the body shots and the power of Lucas Matisse but again He's like one of those fighters that you wouldn't want to fight Lamont Peterson because he's like a gnat. He just won't go away. He just keeps coming, keeps coming like a termite. Um, so I think it's a hell of a fight. And a lot of people, again, they go solely based on power, like Provotnikov versus Timothy Bradley. Like, oh, Timothy Bradley lost based on power. I mean, if you go based on power, there's a lot of fights that um, would win. And you could tell who wins before the fight just based on the the power difference but again Lucas Matisse Lamont Peterson I think that's a hell of a fight for various reasons I'll elaborate a little bit more um, back to Danny Garcia and Amir Khan I would definitely watch a rematch to that um, I'm not opposed to that but I also agree with Danny Garcia and I said this previously Amir Khan is being positioned to fight people who aren't going to give him the ultimate test in a stacked division and that's just their career path for it. It's not knocking Amir Khan. It's just he's at a point where he has to rebuild his career. If he were to take a loss instead of facing Carlos Molina, let's say you fought Lucas Matisse and got knocked out, that would be so detrimental to his career. His handlers know better than that. Golden Boy knows better than that. That's why they pulled Carlos Molina up from 135, a known light puncher with seven KOs, I believe, on his record out of 20-plus fights, and had Amir Khan fight him. So I agree with Danny Garcia. Of course, Khan's going to look like a star. He has the frame like Oscar De La Hoya with a long, lengthy reach, and he definitely has hand speed. He does have some intangibles, again, hand speed, um, and his reach advantage. And he's not a bum. I've never said Khan is a bum, but I don't think he's as 
um, high up on the totem pole as a lot of people put him. I think he's very over glorified and fights very amateurish. But other than that, he puts on entertaining fights. He has balls. He has heart. Um, and he's got in there with a lot of top people. So I give him props for that. I just don't think he's the number one guy at 140. And I never really have. But um, I'd like to see a Danny Garcia rematch if he gets past Zab. Um, I'd like to see Danny Garcia and Khan. And again, in the video responses, I will put the link to the video I did where I basically said the same thing. Now, you diehard Amir Khan fans, you can dislike the video, you can hate, you can say whatever you want, but it shows that they are putting him in positions to have opponents that he's expected to easily beat. Or not necessarily easily, I just don't think they're going to test him like a Lucas Matisse, like a Danny Garcia rematch, um, even a Lamont Peterson rematch. If you've seen how Lamont Peterson, off of maybe a 12, 15 month layoff, for the testosterone scandal if you see how he competed once he got the little ring rust out against Kendall Holt um, it looked like he was on a mission so I think that's even a tougher fight than Diaz but Diaz does have a shot just based on his uh, size coming down in weight I don't know how that's gonna affect him so I would give the edge to Amir Khan for speed um, I think Amir Khan's more in the prime of his career than Diaz is in the um, prime of his career I think Diaz is kind of older and more in the twilight of his career. And he's coming down in weight. So this is everything against Diaz. Diaz is also fighting in England, which is Amir Khan's home. That's his backyard. So everything's against Diaz. I'm not saying he can't pull off an upset, but I am saying um, he has the odds stacked against him. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you want to see Amir Khan fight next? Um, I would love to see Broner in Amir Khan if, if Amir Khan... Um, stays at 140 or, or whatever and Broner comes down to 140 after Malinaji or whatever the, however they fix it I just want to see them fight I think that'd be a good fight um, let me know who you want to see Amir Khan fight do you agree with Danny Garcia do you disagree leave a comment hate comment or subscribe until next video Ego signing off